Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here and I'm going to make you a routing guide uh, using Chainfire's uh, CF route for the Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, today is the 14th of June 2012. I literally got this phone about 10 hours ago and I've already customized it to my liking. Um, I'll post down in the description um, my initial impressions. But uh, what we're going to do is um, root this phone uh, and it will come with clockwork recovery um, super user um, and it will come with clock a clockwork manager uh, made by Chainfire himself so what we're going to do is power off the phone for starters and um, what I would suggest is before doing what I just did now is to connect the phone in so that the USB drivers install on your computer once you've done that you want to hit down on the volume key home button and power button down home and power button all in one go and you'll get into a little warning it says volume up to continue volume down to cancel so we're going to go volume up and this will take us into download mode as you can see over there it says current binary samsung official and it says system status official um, and it says custom binary download no so this is the uh, download mode before connecting up the phone we're going to leave the phone like that and we're going to go head over to the PC on the PC you'll go into uh, Chainfire's um, thread which I'll again link down in description description sorry and as you can see it's CF root 6.2 super SU plus CWM 5.5 uh, plus CWM manager um, it's written there in the title and uh, Chainfire has got a lovely guide on how to do it um, it's pretty much new proof but I'm making a video anyway what you want to download is over here you've got Odin so I'll zoom in for you guys so that you can see you've got Odin uh, Odin zip and over here you've got the different versions uh, it's just um, the take the latest version possible so over here in this case on the 14th of June it's 6.2 v6.2 and Chainfire will be updating it I, I presume uh, regularly so you wanna download those and you'll get uh, two zip files once you get the two zip files you have to extract the files so once you extract the files you'll have um, several files ignore the other files I've got in here but uh, you'll end up with two files, CF root SGS 6.2 and Odin 1.85. So what we want to do is open up Odin 1.85, the folder, and then you'll have Odin over here. My suggestion is to run as an administrator just to be on the safe side if you're on Windows 7 or Windows Vista. And you'll end up with this screen over here. For CF root, we've got a dot tar file as you can see over there we've got a dot tar file and you want to leave it as it is so do not touch the dot tar file you don't want to extract that or open that up so leave it as it is and over here on Odin you can see PDA you can click PDA and it'll open up your um, a random, the last folder you flashed with or if you've never flashed it won't open up with anything um, so you have to go to the directory where uh, your CF root was so as you can see here's the CF root folder and here's the CF root tar do that and hit open and there you got you got CF root in there make sure repartition is not ticked and leave everything else as it is so as you can see over here in the top left we've got uh, we've got nothing indicated there there's nothing connected and I've got my phone right here there's a US, US, USB port and we're going to connect it in when we connect in you should see the phone uh, as you can see at the bottom it is installing right there and once it's installed you'll have your device come up in my case it's COM7 so once it's up all you want to do is hit start so hit start and it will do the process so that's what's going on there on your phone that's what's going on there it is just passed as you can see and we're going back to the phone so you can see it's uh, doing its stuff there just let it let it do its things 
My suggestion is to keep the, the, the wire in until you've booted up. This is my general rule even when flashing a ROMs. Let's zoom out a little bit. And here you go, Android is upgrading. Hell yeah, it's got recovery, that's why. <laughs> right. So just let it boot up with your configurations and whatnot. Right. So now I've got Super SU. I already installed the app previously, and I would suggest doing that as well. But uh, open up Super SU. And this time, you should be, instead of being prompted before of, you're not rooted, please try again. Now we've got this. Super SU is now installed, and now we are, uh, we are rooted. Go into settings, make sure enable super user is ticked. And just check if there was anything else over here. There we go. So super user is ticked. So we are rooted, in theory. So a good way to check it is go into triangle away and so we're going to grant access that is correct there we go well as you can see it is authenticated and I would suggest you guys buying the apps instead of downloading them triangle way is provided free on XDA by Chainfire but I have bought the app myself on uh, the market simply because I feel like um, um, donating uh, to Chainfire for his uh, for his work. So current status of the flash or of the triangle way. Can I do need, we need a reboot. Okay, fine, that's fine. But anyway, that, that's something else. That's another app that we don't need to be worried about. So that is um, super user. As you can see, super user has been granted access, um, and we have. Um, and we have super user access as you can see I'm on titanium backup right now and uh, once this goes away I'll be fine cool so there you can see root access with a tick so with uh, also alongside that I presume there'll be a there you go clockwork mod grant and so this is an app that will also be installed and as you can see you've got You've got it there. Right, and so what I'm going to do now is boot, reboot into Clockwork Recovery. I'm going to go straight into Recovery and show you uh, if Recovery works. Hopefully it should do. And there you go. As you can see, Clockwork Recovery is there. Mine is CF 1.4. Clockwork uh, Based Recovery 5.5.0.4. .5 and here you can see all the different options that you want to do. So um, there you go. I want a reboot system now. And so there you go, guys. I mean, that basically um, covers everything. Uh, that is everything that should be uh, covered with the uh, routing process. And obviously, if you're routing, it's as you can see, it's to enable certain apps such as Titanium Backup, which I find extremely useful. Um, for backing up apps and settings and whatnot, um, and also very useful if you want to flash custom ROMs because now we've got recovery, uh, we can now flash custom ROMs via internal SD card. Um, there are other methods of routing, also provided by Chainfire. You can flash the recovery first, and via the recovery flash Super SU. But this way is, it's just. It, yeah, it's not time consuming and it gets straight to the point unless for some reason you only want one uh, but not the others which I can't think why then you can go ahead and flash it the same way I did um, but um, I would suggest flashing what I um, CF root instead of flashing recovery and SU um, and installing the app separately I'd rather flash everything and get all three combined so um, that's great so I'll uh, link down in the description the XCA thread I would suggest following um, Chainfire and possibly Twitter uh, even Facebook um, even though it came up with the options I've already done that so uh, 
uh, I would suggest doing that to see if there's any updates which come out and uh, and whatnot. So uh, there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, routing guide, and from totally dubbed and my brand new Samsung Galaxy S3 in blue, I'm out. Bye bye.